Hey, what is up everybody? How are you all doing out there? This is Regan and thanks for tuning back into our channel. In this video, we are going to unbox and review this newly released figure from Soso Toys and this is Detective Vigilante or Robin from the Titans TV series. SST 022A16 scale collectible figure. And before we start, if you're new here to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so you will be notified once I upload a new video like this. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so this is the art box of this Detective Vigilante from Soso -So Toys and looks cool. I would say just a simple one. I'm not sure if this is the picture of the figure. So I'm excited to see it. And yeah, of course a different name because it's again it's not licensed. There you go on the side, right there, and at the back, warnings and notice. Okay? Yeah, let's open it and let's take a look at the figure. Alright, so let's open it. There you go. Bam. Wow, they have a cover print too. Looks good, but I would say very simple, guys. I mean, uh, it looks like a print, like some kind of art, and uh, but very simple one. Yeah, I think it's okay. Yeah, looks good. Anyway, so let's move on. And right here is the, uh, looks like, I thought it's a warranty. <laughs> No, it looks like a well the instruction sheet. Just a small one. Wow. And then right here is the packaging. Ooh. So nothing inside. That's it. Right there. Okay, let me change my lens so you guys can see it closely. Right, so first up right here is a pair of uh, holding the weapon gesture or the stick or the baton. Right there looks good uh the paint apps looks great looks clean not bad look at that there you go right nice uh hmm. underneath great next up right here is an open hand gesture right there or yeah something like relaxed hand okay looks good uh nice paint apps i would say there you go Okay, and then right here is his kind of like batarangs, his batarangs or shuriken, you know, Robin shuriken uh, weapon, and the three pieces and the uh, letter R2. You could also use this as emblem. <laughs> really nice. Okay, so we'll uh, try that later. And then next up right here is his weapon, which is a long baton, long stick right there looks good nice paint up i would say let me show you guys the details looks good too there you go nice there you go okay it's very long guys bam okay and then next up right here is the extra head sculpt without his mask let's see oh not bad looks good yeah looks decent i mean like of course for the price and uh, not licensed but looks good huh wait what's that in the eyes oh see some dirt nice not bad guys look at that okay wow great Okay, and then let, now let's get the figure. Whoa, okay, just a quick look. Yes, no plastic. Thank you. <laughs> and only the, of course, the head's got. Oh, this one looks better. I like with the mask too. Wow, nice. Can we remove the mask? No, it's not detachable. But looks great. Look at that. 
Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> a decent head sculpt. Not bad, guys. Look at that. Nice. Looks great. Amazing. Okay, and then this again, a quick look again. Nice. And then not bad also for the suit. Yeah, looks good. Because I'm not sure uh, what kind of material they use. I mean, like, I mean, in the movie. So not really familiar so i think it's fine okay so now let's get the base right here wow the base looks nice Ooh, looks good huh not bad look at that okay i mean simple one doesn't have any like of course robin or nameplate but it's fine letter r <laughs> just my initial <laughs> This is really for me. <laughs> right. And then, of course, the holder, which is this one. Okay. A hook underneath. There you go. Wow. Okay. Kind of like sideshow style. Right? Okay. So, now let's take it out this one. Right. So, I think that's pretty much everything that you could get from this So So Toys Detective Vigilante. So, now, what we're going to do now is check the articulations, attach those accessories, weapons, and let's play around. Let's go. Right. So, now let's check the articulation. I'm going to start with the head. I think it could rotate that uh, 360 for sure. There you go. That's very smooth. And then look up. Nah. Okay. That's the max. Okay. And then down here, that's the max too. I think it's okay. Side tilt, uh, other side, not much because it doesn't have the extra joint on the neck. So it's like one whole piece, one whole head scalp. Uh, I wish, I mean, uh, they, you know, thought about that, but I think that's the design. That's a better design for this figure. And also because of the color of the armor. So that's why. You know, you cannot uh, really do a lot of angle, like higher or lower angle. Uh, it's kind of like holding the neck, but I think it's fine. I mean, it's also for safety, so at least it's not going to lose easily, right? And yeah, so that's the articulation for the neck. So let's move on to the arms. There you go for the arms. Side, uh, all the way up. Oh wait, I think I could move that. Hmm. Kind of like. Oh uh, wait. I think that's the max that you could hold for the arms. Probably 90 degrees. Uh, it depends how you're going to, you know, move the arms. You just have to find the right uh, angle. Yeah, to hold that arms. Okay, but I think it's fine. It looks good for me. It looks good. And then down. Let's move the arms to the front. Wow, nice. Up to 90 degrees too. Great. Same on other side. Together. Wow. And at the back. Looks good. Running pose. Arms to the back. Great. Wow. Okay. And you can swivel that. Oh, I see. So the design of this one, the design of the suit is uh the sleeve the short sleeve is separated from the long sleeve of the arms which is right here is that the correct explanation <laughs> like separate yeah it's you can see right here so it's not uh connected see which is uh looks uh good i mean i'm not sure if that's the design from the you know titans uh, tv series itself so uh, probably maybe that's their or, or maybe their, that's their idea so that's which is really great right I mean they thought about that I mean at least it's easy to move those arms without uh, somehow sacrificing the form of the the sleeve or the shoulder armor let's say yeah this one looks like an armor so yeah see at least it's not gonna crumple like uh, like an ugly look I mean, yeah, it looks good. See? It's easy to move those arms. Uh, I think, yeah, it's not only just because of the look of the suit, but also, like, how easy to, you know, do some articulation or poses. See? That is great. I mean, like, right here. And also, it's not 
a thick material, kind of like stretch material for the suit that they use. Kind of like canvas uh, material. I don't know how you're going to call that kind of uh, fabric material, but I would say, yeah, it's not it's not thick so you have to be very careful on moving those arms probably it's easy to you know rip off or cut there right here it looks like it has something inside aside from the main suit is uh, i mean like the main costume it looks like it has something okay so that's the articulations on the shoulder and then for the elbows great too wow amazing great bam whoa amazing that looks good nice okay good articulation on the arms guys and it's not loose it doesn't look cheap i mean it doesn't feel cheap you know, when you hold it and yeah and the wrist of course i think it's fine probably the common one okay now let's move on to the waist part or some ab crunch right there. Uh huh. Right up to there. Yeah, I think that probably the common one. And then arch. Mm, so it has some zipper right here so you could uh, remove the suit or the costume for you know changing the body just in case you want to change if in the future become loose. Arch, that's the max, guys. And inside, for sure, nice, great, boom, amazing, okay? And then twist, uh, not really. Uh, somehow, this suit right here is connected to the upper torso, I mean to the upper chest or upper body. So once you twist, it's kind of like pulling back the position. You see, because of this one, because oh this one is glued to the suit right there okay so just in case at least you have an idea so be careful on moving this uh, upper part of the upper body because uh, it's connected here so you're probably gonna ooh, break down those uh, uh costume like i mean it's easy to you know uh put some glue again or uh, rugby but uh, I think it's wait did I say rugby <laughs> yeah uh, it's a brand of a glue and uh, hmm, yeah I think it's okay there you go uh -huh. there. yeah I think it's okay you just need to be careful on the moving the upper body okay it uh, looks great. It looks good. I would say. I mean, it's still decent, not bad. You know, just be careful. So moving on to the leg part. Oh, this one is tight. Wait, let me check the open, open leg. Mm, this is tight. It is stretched. It's again. It's not. Uh, probably the the leg or the joint is tight. Actually, not the suit. I think that's the max, guys. Down. I mean that. This is fine. <laughs> Uh, and then front mm. I cannot I mean I cannot lift the leg uh, probably that's max uh, I think it's fine looks okay the back there you go that's a max too but that it's not holding the that angle see my other side but it looks smooth the suit looks smooth oh yeah i see so they made a kind of like really tight uh, costume uh, design here on the lower body so right there so i think it's fine it's just that of course we cannot do that much of um, poses on the legs not yeah i think it's it's okay it looks okay okay and then let's move on to the uh, knees part um hmm, wait yeah that's the max guys and then other side um there you go that's the max and then right here on the ankle part yeah that's good because they separated that uh, boots at least we could do some nice articulation on the feet on the ankle part 
great okay front up down amazing okay and then same on other side bam oops okay so it's easy to detach so be careful just do it slowly wait there you go i think it's fine guys yes bam Oh, nice I think that's it that's it for the uh, full articulations of this figure but let me check very quick if there's any movable parts or detachable parts uh, for this figure like this one you could move like that this armor because of the articulation and uh, but it's it is glued to the fabric material here on the first layer of the suit so yeah but the first layer this first layer right here is also attached to the inner suit which is glued right there so that's why you cannot uh, you know remove that but I saw at the back there's some uh, zipper so probably you could you know unzip that and remove well you could break those glue and then glue it back I think it's fine I mean just in case you're planning to do some you know uh, customization or you know if you want to change the body that they use if you want to do some but i think the body is okay so there's no problem well just in case in the future it will become loose then yeah you could change that we could do that but yeah uh the armor this uh chest armor right here is connected to this uh yeah suit first layer even to the cape actually yeah, yeah right here it is connected this uh, this armor and also the armor is oh well, yeah because of this armor neck armor uh, also connected to this cave to this uh, chest armor so yeah this is the first layer that you could move and you're just gonna you know uh, break that uh, those glue if you really want to detach it okay but yeah I like the paint apps here it looks more natural I would say the weathering effects and though it's not that really clean because you can see some you know uh, glued coming out from those uh, fabric material but I would say it looks good, you know, uh, still decent. And then right here on the side, the shoulder armor will also, uh, uh, they mentioned also in their uh, instruction sheet that you cannot detach those details, those golden patterns. Okay, and also it has some pads that are uh, quite thick. It is quite thick. So at least it's good because at least it's not easy to deflate somehow in the future. Yeah, really, really nice, I would say. Also, this belt. Uh, you could move to fix, arrange somehow, but it's non-detachable unless you're going to break it. Then, yeah, break it if you want to. Uh, but, of course, it's not um, advisable to uh, detach it. Okay? Yeah, you could move that, fix. And, yeah, I like the whole suit uh, because it has a lot of uh, weathering effects. But, uh, I think in the, in the series, it should be more shinier. But at least they use... Uh, good material I mean like better material which is fab fabric material and it's not gonna flake in the future probably if Hot Toys made this one they're probably gonna use the those Spider-Man uh, suit stretch kind of like rubber material that probably you're gonna have some problem on the you know flaking in the future I mean I mean uh, maybe because I already experienced that uh, from my Black Widow so but we're not sure probably they go, going to use a different one but yeah at least uh, so so toys uses a fabric material so you know if i would say like it will last longer you know yeah okay and then this part right here this one is a fab i uh, know pleather material but also probably yeah we're gonna have a problem uh, on those uh, pads for flaking you know issue but at least it's not too embossed which is good so compared to some figures that you know it has some knee pads it's very clear it's knee pads so yeah at least this one's like connected to the whole suit it's like part of the whole suit which is really good and yeah this one is detachable the these boots right they're detachable and movable parts okay and then also last but not the least is the cape which is really really good i like it because um the, those wires that they added here some wire incinerator that it's hidden and uh, it's not obvious you know the patterns that you cannot really tell if there's a wire or not you know and yeah both sides 
have those wires and also on the edge right here the bottom yeah okay i think that's it those are the movable parts and detachables again the mass is also not detachable i wish right but then it's probably you know you, you might gonna lose that and hmm. okay i think that's it for those movable and uh detachable parts okay so now what we're going to do is try those accessories uh weapons and let's try first the head sculpt So that's how it looks with the, the bare head scalp, I mean uh, without the mask and yeah, looks good. So, but I, I like this one more with the mask. So it's a good option if you have extra body, uh, like custom body and with some uh, suit or I mean like clothes, okay? All right, guys. So already attached the um, the weapon. Already put inside the weapon, but it's really, really tight, guys. I think you have to really like force. You have to really put some force to put the weapon inside, and it's kind of like already. I mean, the paint is already broken. See, I mean, it's not good anymore. Some there's some paint chip there. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's really tight. I mean, like the material that they use here, it's not the normal. Uh, rubber plastic it's like a pure plastic that you have to really like you know force it to open it to shoot that uh, you know button the weapon but it, I think it's okay you could live with that because at least it's hidden inside so it's not gonna you know it's not noticeable okay so let's try to attach it here hmm? that's weird I mean okay so that's the max guys i mean uh, because i thought uh, i could see that there's still some space that i could still push it more inside but it looks like that's the max yeah i think that's the max guys so i'm not gonna <laughs> because uh for sure you could uh attach this part like two hands but it's really really tight i'm not gonna i'm gonna try my best if i could Put it inside so I could show you guys like two hands uh, uh, holding this stick. Okay, but I think one is fine. <laughs> I think I'm okay with that. I'm fine with that. I'll probably gonna put the batter rounds on the other side. This one. Okay. Uh, well, let, let me show you guys. Let me take it out from the plastic. Not sure if something like this. Okay, uh, looks okay. I think it's fine. Though the the kind of gesture on this hand holding the weapon is not doesn't look like that that it is for uh, for sure again. So, but it it looks okay. I mean, it looks fine. Okay, holding the shuriken. Let me. I think it's fine. It looks good. Ah, it's not bad. Okay. Wow, great. I always wanted to get a, a Robin figure from the Titans. But I think I missed the other version, the first version. I'm not sure what uh, what brand is that. But uh, yeah, this one looks great. Looks good. Okay. My overall thoughts on this figure would say is it looks absolutely fantastic. It is surprisingly good and its quality looks great. Although there are still some noticeable flaws, at least they're getting better and they are really stepping up their game. I cannot really tell if the outfit is accurate but I could tell it's a little bit different from the series. I think we could just add a little bit paint. The articulations are great however, my only issue is the leg part. Though it's really not a big deal, for sure you guys could also live with that and you could still do a lot of great dynamic poses. And lastly, I really like the headscap. I think it is similar with their Nightwing version. It looks fantastic. Even though it's not that perfect true to the Hot Toys quality, I would say this is still great on likeness of Brenton Twits or Dick Grayson. For those fans of Titans or Robin character, I think it is worth it, especially if you're looking for a Dick Grayson figure to display on your DC collections. 
I think that's about it. That's all I could say. Let me know your thoughts on this figure. Feel free to comment down below in the comment section. And if you like this video, I really appreciate it if you hit the like button. Thank you for watching guys. Until then, see you on our next video. Peace. God bless.